Hello everybody and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Now if you remember last time, my battle as the Ironclad failed miserably when I couldn't kill what successfully killed me. Douchebags. So today we're gonna play the Silent. Um, he's basically an asshole with poison. That's probably the most accurate description I can make of him. Um, I did play a little bit of this yesterday on my own time to see how far I could get. I actually got the furthest I've ever gotten with this character, mostly because I found an item that gives you a life back if you die. Only reason. So let's see how this goes. Now I really like poison because it ignores shields, which is stupid good. Um, let's upgrade, ooh, receive a random relic. Well, I don't really have any good cards that I would want to upgrade right now. As defend, strike, some neutral, nothing I really, really want. So let's receive a random common relic. Um, gain one dexterity. Oh, okay. So let's talk about this. So I do kind of like the idea of a random encounter and then a shop, fireplace, monster, fireplace, chest. I actually really like this route. I have plenty of fireplaces or plenty of uh, rest sites that I can upgrade cards with. So, how poison works, we don't start off with any poison cards. Um, let's actually... So, neutralize will weaken a creature. So it'll only do 25% or 75% damage. Let's use a defend and then deal 6 damage with a strike, deal 6 damage with a strike, and turn. So how poison works is, say you have three poison applied on somebody, they'll take three damage, the enemy will take three damage, the next turn they take two, and the next day they take one, and then after that they run out. Okay, so... We need to do two blocks. So the ultimate goal of this is to... Um, how do I want to put it? Take as much unnecessary damage as possible, because I no longer have that heal. Chunk. So he's going to deal 12 again. So I am going to do a neutralize on him. Get some free damage. 9. So block 9. Whatever. That oh, looks like I'm going to have to... So kind of my thought process there was try and deal as much damage as possible, obviously, but it didn't really work out. I should slow down here, really go through my thought process. So he's going to deal six, so obviously I'm going to have to use up two blocks again. The start of each combat, gain one dexterity. Okay, so this is just inherently going to give me one extra block. Now I get it. Um, it's the best I'm going to be able to do with this. It's going to rake me. I'm going to get weakened, so I'm going to deal a little less damage again. So block, block, damage. Honestly, this is working out really, really well. And the next turn, I should just be able to murder him. Yep, six. Six. Dead. And it's not it's not a hard game to understand, in my opinion. Alright. Um, I don't really understand what this does. Spend all energy. Enemy loses X strength. Applied X weakness. I don't really like that. This I do like, however. Flying knee gain, deal 8 damage, gain energy next turn. So I'll have 4 energy instead of the usual 3. Draw 3 cards, discard 1. I really don't like that. I'm gonna go with that. I mean, I like card draws, gives me more options, but... Let's see what this chance encounter is. Oh, Occultist. Now, I was thinking about this guy on my way home today, and it's like, he just is gonna keep buffing himself, so it's about dealing as much damage as you possibly can in a short period of time. It doesn't really matter what I do. So he's just going to keep buffing himself. With strength. So look at that. So I really got to kill this guy as fast as possible. So I am going to block. And then I'm just going to deal much damage as I possibly can, because before too long, I'm not going to be able to defend against him. Yeah, look at that, 9. Went up by 3. This spell is just a douche move. 
Will I be able to kill him? I will. That, that turn kind of played itself there. Ooh, apply three pillars and apply three weak. I like that. Add two shivs to your hand. Shivs are zero cost cards, which exhaust. That'd be nice. I mean, I want poison, but not this poison. I'm just going to keep throwing shivs in my hand. A thief. Okay. Really going to have to kill him quickly. So get some free damage off on him. I want to add two shivs to my hand to get, I guess, eight damage off on him. Then I want to do a survivor. Get rid of that block. So now I've got nine total shielding against him. And then I want to do a flying knee. That'll give me an extra energy next turn, and I'm going to end it right there. So I took seven damage there. Block was fine. So he's going to deal ten to me, so i got to get ten block. Which I am going to get. So that's going to give me twelve block. And then with the remaining energy, I'm just going to deal twelve damage to him. Seventeen items. I'm going to need a big play if I'm going to kill him this next turn. Actually, he should be... No! I thought he'd be shielding up again. Okay. Um, block and block. Then I want to add two shivs to my hand for some free damage. Not free damage, but less expensive damage. Then hopefully... Very nice. I should be able to kill him this turn. So, flying knee... At this point, it just doesn't matter what I do. As long as I deal damage to him, he's dead. Got my gold back. Got 12 more gold. Gain 4 block next turn. Gain 4 block. Kind of like that. At the end of your turn, retain up to 1 card. That would be kind of good. Deal 4 damage to all enemies twice. We're not facing multiple enemies yet. So I'm going to hold off on that one. I'm going to get well-laid well laid plants. I do like the option of retaining cards. Um, what? Um, among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate large blue stone resembling a wing. You find gold spilling out from the cracks. Maybe there's more, in, more inside. Um, no, I want nothing to do with this. And then chest. Or not chest, merchant. Um, what do I want to buy here? Ooh, what do I have here? Deal 8 damage twice. Glass knife damage is lowered by 2 this combat. I, I don't like the sound of that. Um, ooh, infinite blades. At the start of your turn, add a ship to your hand. I like the sound of that. Um, I can't afford any relics. Another flying knee is always appreciated. Dramatic entrance. Deal six damage to all enemies and exhaust. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna take the shiv. I don't want anything to do with the glass knife. I am gonna take flying knee. I just don't like that crippling poison card very much. And then a campfire, excellent. Um, Since I don't need to rest, cause I haven't lost any health. We're gonna upgrade a card here. Um, add three shifts to your hand. That could be good. Infinite Blade. Innate. At the start of your turn, add a shift to your... So, this is gonna be at the start of combat. I really don't need that. Well laid plans. Retain two cards. Hmm. Eight damage, or eleven damage. I do kind of like the sound of retaining two cards, because I could line up some pretty awesome combos with that. Not right now, because my cards are kind of... I'm kind of iffy with my cards right now. Oh, great. I second I say I'm not dealing with multiple enemies, look what appears. Oh, and they're going to deal just a ton of damage to me. Okay. I need to gain nine block. Get rid of that. Um, 15 right there. 15 right there. Another six. That should block all of the damage. Blocked. Blocked. 
Yep, I did the math right. I'm gonna be able to block everything. Alright, so I got lucky. I took no damage there. So what I want is well-laid plans. Um, I am gonna defend. I'm not gonna be able to defend against all of it, but at least I'm gonna be able to defend against most of it. And then I'm gonna shiv. I'm gonna end my turn here. Oh, I guess I can retain this? Sure, I'll retain it. Why not? I might need to deal some damage here. That's going to give me a wound, I think? No, it's going to weaken me. Yeah. At least now, the ship will be free so I can start dealing some damage to these jerks. So at the very least, let's start getting rid of this guy. Gonna gain six block. At this point, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. So let's at least do this. I'm gonna add in two shivs in an attempt to at least murder one of the slimes. So it's a little less damage I'm gonna be taking. And then I'm gonna do a flying knee. Or I could, I'm gonna actually make a guy weak. So I'm gonna deal, how much will a flying knee? Six. I'm not going to have anything that here that's going to kill them, so let's at least weaken him and bring him to the point of near death. So hopefully next turn, and turn retain both of these, so hopefully next turn, yeah, I'm still going to take 10 damage here. There's just no way around that with my current card set. 10 damage there. That's not good. Alright, so let's get some cards back here. Okay, I really like... The okay, so... Let's use... My Shiv here. That's going to deal 3 damage. He's dead. So I'm going to have to defend. The other way, I'm going to have to use 2 defends here to negate as much damage as possible. Let's use a Flying Knee. You know, I'm going to block the damage anyways. I'm going to murder this guy. Not quite murder him, but... Ah, crap. I'm still weak, aren't I? Draw three cards. I don't have anything that would kill him, so I miscalculated that slightly. Retain two cards. Just retain the shivs. Yeah, I'm going to take that weakened. But at least I'm going to block all the damage. Alright. So. Free Shiv. He's toasted. Will I be able to kill? I might actually be able to... Get pretty close to... I'm going to weaken him because I'm going to aim to kill him. Or I'm going to aim to kill this guy. So if I can't kill this one, it'll deal less damage at the very least. Actually, everything worked out okay. So I took a little more damage than I would have preferred. But... Yeah. Draw one card, discard one card, or adrenaline, gain energy, draw two cards. I like that idea. Um. Not, I am going to upgrade another card. I'm going to do the blade dance. And add three ships to my hand. That's, that's going to be 12 damage, hopefully. Ooh, that chest. So I got gold. If you end your turn without block, gain 6 block. That's good. What is it with these multiple enemies? Anyways. Well laid, let's get some well-laid plans going here. Got three ships to my hand. I wouldn't be able to kill anybody. I'm just going to defend for as much as I possibly can. I am going to hold on to that in case the opportunity presents itself that I can 
use it. Having a really rough run here. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna do something stupid here. Because I can't stay on the defensive with this many enemies. There we go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a flying knee, deal eight damage to because this wizard terrifies me, whatever he's planning. Alright, three of these. One, two, five. Do I have anything? Okay, I could kill him with that. So instead of wasting two cards killing him, I'm going to throw a shiv at him. said I wanted to. Infinite Blade. I really did not get what I wanted to accomplish this turn. Just retain those, because why not? He's charging. I should be ready to kill him next turn. I gotta kill him next turn regardless, otherwise I'm screwed. Ugh, I'm eating a lot of unnecessary hits. All right, excellent. Yes. So let's do six damage, done. I'm going to weaken. This gremlin. Shift to him. And a strike, excellent. Now I'm going to gain the 9 block, discard that, flying knee to this guy's face, and I'm going to end my turn. I just get rid of that card, I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to take 4 damage, okay. Free shiv, adrenaline, okay, free shiv, let's start working him, did I get a shiv? Let's use this Adrenaline, because this is going to determine my next move. Okay. Kill him. I have enough to destroy him. Four. I probably will not. So let's at least weaken him. Six block. Deal nine damage. End turn. I'll hold on to these. Okay. And he should be pretty well done. Flying knee to the face. GG. Ah, oh, deal 20 damage. That would have been nice. Deal 8 damage. Draw 1 card. Draw 1 card. So I do like the idea of if I can get a skill, I get some block. There's literally no consequence to using it. A thief and a caterpillar. Excellent. Excellent. So let's make some well-laid plans here. Let's retain my hand. Then I do want to gain nine block. I'm gonna get rid of this. Defend for 15. It's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna throw this over at this stupid caterpillar. Getting some shivs here. One, two, three. And my turn. Don't need to retain those. I'm gonna play this one close to the chest. Owie. So then let's do. Escape plans. Do I gain some block? I do! Hell yeah! him a flying knee so then one two I might have given him some unnecessary defense but oh well I'll retain that sure why not I can hopefully get on the offensive next turn it's gonna take 15 gold for me jokes on you I'm poor 
So a free shiv. A flying knee again. Oh, and I should just be able to kill him flat out. No! The random numbers are with me today. Deal four damage for each skill in your hand. That could be good. Gain four block. Also good. Bane, deal seven damage. The enemy's poison deals seven again. I don't have any poison, but I got lots of skills. And I am totally resting. There's not even a question about it. Spore Cloud. Right. Too vulnerable to me. So I gotta be careful. Three shifts to my hand, please. One, two, three. Most of the way down. Um, let's gain an energy and draw two cards. That's a power skill, skill, skill. So this should do 16 damage, I believe. And deal that against him. Very nice. And I'm going to do... Draw one card, neutralize, deal three damage, apply one weak. Three damage. So now I only need to defend against ten damage. And I will put on well laid plans. And turn, retain this one, please, and confirm. So now both of these enemies are in, like, striking range of death. I guess I'm going for a get as much energy as possible and play as many zero cards build. So I'll be able to kill them in one turn. That's the question. A flying knee. Oh yeah, totally got this. Add a card to my dick. Deal three damage five times. That could be okay. Draw one card, discard one card. 9 damage, draw 1 card, discard 1 card. I like that. Oh my gosh, what is it with... I've never gotten a, a run-through with so many of these little enemies. So I'm going to gain an energy, draw 2 cards. Draw 1 card if it's a skill, gain some block. It's not, but now I've got a flying knee. So then it's going to be about surviving this first attack. i got a block for 12... So I could do that, gain 9 block, discard this card, discard a card. Either way, I'm going to have to use 2 skills, so might as well, I've got 3 skills, that'll do 12. He's dead. Let's do dagger throw. Let's defend for 12. And then a flying knee. Yeah, I want that extra energy. Flying knee on that gremlin. End my turn. So I'm going to gain some negative buffs here. Mostly, I'm going to deal 25% less damage for now two turns. Ouch. So, defend and defend so I can block their 12 damage. I'm going to add in the 3 shivs to my hand, which will do 9, so 1 gremlin less. Ooh, and then I still have a shiv left over. I directed at that guy. End my turn. At least they're not able to cut through my defense at this turn, at this point. Um... Neutralize him. I think I am still going to take one damage at this point. So I'm going to accept that fact. Or I might not. I might not, actually. Flying knee him. Will laid plans just because. Neutralize him. Weaken him. So just one block will do. Then gain some energy, 
damage, 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 and that turn just kind of played itself out. I did notice a lot when I'm running through this by myself, it matters not only what cards you play, but how you play cards, or at what po time you play cards. So I've got two skills, so that'll deal, should deal eight damage. Delta eight damage. Deadly poison, finally. Now we can actually show you how poison works, and not a moment too soon. I'm feeling confident with the health I have. Four damage, two weak. That could be good. Six damage. What about this one? Two energy. Yes. Yes. Two energy, please. Oh, a hexa ghost. So he's not going to attack. So I might as well use this turn time to set up all my skills. Or all of my powers, which are persistent. Um, I don't really like a dagger throw. That could be good. Choose a card to discard. I'm not really going to need the block. So then I'll flying knee him. And that's a whole bunch of free damage right there. Oh, right. It's gonna hit me for 36 damage. 36 damage! Well laid plans. Infinite blade. Deadly poison. Let's throw this at him. There we go, that's a little more of a manageable number. Draw three cards, please. Okay, so I did get some extra defense there, so he's not gonna murder me today. So I should block all but three of that damage now, if I did my math correctly. And my turn. I will retain that, however. Yep, all but three. It's only going to deal four damage. So I have three skills in my hand right now. So that's 12 damage. Um, I'm just going to use... I am going to ship him. I will use a defend. But I am going to stomach some of, of effects here. Um, I do want strike and I do want to retain that defend. This guy burns, that's right. So he's gonna deal six damage to me. So I'll use up a block, there's no question about that. My free shiv, get that off on him. Um, I'll hold on to this neutralize, because he's not coming at me with very much damage. And I will just deal nine damage. All right. Deadly Poison or Neutralize. As much as I like Deadly Poison. Although, if I get that on him right away... I think next attack's the big one. Oh, that was a card to discard. Crap. I screwed up. So he's gonna buff himself here. It's going to be best just to hit him with everything I can. More deadly poison, that's five poison. Shiv. Escape plan. So I'm thinking deadly blade with 12 damage. Flying knee to gain some more energy. And then that shiv will give me... I dealt a whole bunch of damage to him. Two cards to retain. Give me the block, give me the attack. Crap, now I got a shield to blow through. Okay, I've got two skills in my hand. I 
think about this. Alright, so I don't have enough to block all of his damage. So with this, this will give me 6 block, which is the same as this. So I might as well use this turn, So I'm going to take damage anyways. I might as well proc the passive on this. 4 poison, 8. And then retain my block. There we go, now we really got that poison stacking up. He's gonna deal 8 again. Just a shiv. I like the prospect of getting that extra stuff. I'm gonna gain my 6 block. In turn, retain this. Retain that. So I know the big hit's coming. Yeah, poison's starting to do work. Alright, so now I'm going to start taking the effects of his burn. Shiv, please. Three more shivs. Let's neutralize him. So I can just deploy one block. Flying me, and then I'll deploy my block here. And he's got 50. Oh, right, I forgot about the burn. Oof. That's gonna be 30 damage I'm gonna take right there, unless if I can neutralize. 18, that's a little more manageable. I shiv. Deploy all of my blocks. In turn, retain my survivor in case I get into a really sticky situation. Ha! Ah. ah, crap. More burns. At least no burns right now. Um, two skills, so fletch him. Dagger him. So that's going to deal 14. Survivor to get rid of the blade. 15. And turn. Keep the dagger throw. Mm. I think we got this in the bag now. Gonna deal 14 again. Up, oh, I think we just got this in the bag. So that's gonna deal 12 right there. Done. Ooh, skills, skills, skills. To zero. Mm. Enemy loses all poison damage, deal twice damage. That could be good. And Venom. That's what I want. Every time I attack with unblocked damage, it's going to deal. Give a stack of poison. A random relic. Oh, end of your turn. Discard your hand. Tame three curses and three relics. Nope. I like the fact that potion's always going to drop. Alright guys, that's about 34 minutes of content right there. Dear God, that was a long one. So uh, when we come back next time, uh, we will do Floor 2. But until then guys, this has been Bleaker. Peace and you.